See y'all, it's always important to have snacks in your crib. Oreos, things like that. Ladies really like that stuff, man. Look, she ain't even eating it. She's just taking it home with her. Look at that. So you trying to tell us right now those are real Versace slides? Yes, Versace. Put it on God if it's real Versace. Now don't do that. Don't put it. Okay, you got a little stain right there. Get a little stain on that little. All right, y'all, so I just got my flight back to Tanzania. So basically this whole video is gonna be a week in the life of a guy repatriated diasporan. And uh, right now there's some thunderstorms in Nairobi, so y'all just stay tuned. This is what I'm eating on. Some avocado, I got some french fries in that bag. Some uh, some vegetables. I'm really happy they put vegetables in this. This is from a place called Cafe Bistro in Nairobi, Kenya. Early morning, 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 but these little potato bites that they made, they said they basically, see what I do? See what I do for y'all? Now I can't eat. I was finna say, these little potato bites is fire, but now how I'm gonna eat them? How I'm gonna eat them, y'all? Like this hotel, <laughs> boy, I tell you, man, stuff always going on in this country, bro, but this is one thing that's really annoying when y'all go to these establishments that are supposed to be professional, but they're having their issues of professionalism because it's like, bro, I'm saying my card already went through, but what they're saying is that it didn't go through. I'm like, it shows a deduction on my account but they're saying that it doesn't show the deduction on their system. This way we gotta make our own, you know, apartments, make our own hotels, you feel me, and stuff like that, cause we wouldn't deal with these type of issues if we, if you know, we had our own. It went through, I already knew it went through, you feel me? Oh boy, it's cool, I'm just trying to go, man. It's been 20 minutes now. I already knew it was gonna go through. But next time if somebody's talking, you should let them speak. Cause I was trying to explain to you what was going on. Cause I had this happen before, you know, I've been, you know, I travel a lot. So I had this happen before. See, you talk over people a lot. That's what you got. You got to work on that though. I didn't say y'all was going to steal. I said that, you know, I've had this happen before. And if you keep talking over people, then that person's not going to be able to respond and let you know what's going on. That's all I was trying to let you know. But if they said I already paid, let me just go ahead and go. All right, y'all, what's good, what's good? I'm in my kitchen. Y'all, I made it to Tanzania. I'm in my kitchen. It's a whole new day, man. You know, I'm out here uh, whipping up, you know. Got some uh, vegetables, some apples, some fruits. And basically, you know, I just wanted to come on here real quick, man. You know, you can't always be eating out when y'all traveling. It's gonna be tempting because everything seems like it's affordable. But once you do the math, it's actually a lot, y'all. So make sure you guys is um, cooking for yourself from time to time. Y'all already know the deal, man. Mm -hmm. It's almost 12 o'clock. Feel me? 12 midnight. You know, and the whole situation is I got to leave my Airbnb right now. Uh, I have to pack up. Uh, my bags is already packed, basically. But I have to pack up and get out of here in a rush. You feel me? Because there were some issues and this is the thing when people want to be repatriates and want to be, you know, diasporans. This is the issues that you run into when you're trying to be with your people. You know, as I put it in quotation marks, because you guys know I've learned that at least 85 to 90 percent of African people don't really look at us as their people, unfortunately. So there was an issue in my Airbnb where, you know, they tried to increase the price on me. Uh, which was an issue because the deal says it comes with two bedrooms. But as you guys can see right here, they lock one of the doors. And, you know, we kind of agreed, like, for a certain price, it was okay for them to lock one of the doors. But then once I told them, okay, well, let me just pay the original price. They say, oh, we're going to have to make it $20 extra per night. So basically, y'all, basically these people here, they wanted the amount of an American apartment. And let me tell y'all, none of these places, I don't care how good they look, are worth an American apartment. An American apartment doesn't have dirt road on the outside, you know what I'm saying? You're paying not just for the inside of your place, you're also paying for the outside accommodations and the, the you know, how close everything is. This place is far away from everything, y'all, so it's completely not worth that price. Don't ever let them get you like that. Oh, the place looks like it's westernized. Yeah, it looks like that, but you know, what amenities are nearby? You know, I'm on a dirt road away from everywhere. 
you know, you guys don't cover Wi-Fi. Um, you know, you guys don't give uh, two bedrooms, you know, for the price, even though it's already high. They wanted something like almost 1500 USD a month, which is 1,500 USD a month, which is crazy. Cause then you have to include your own Wi-Fi, especially for you guys working online. And this place is Tanzanian owned. And the biggest issue with all this is like, you know, why does it have to be who we want to consider our people? It's always an issue like that. So anyways, let me finish the story. I'm kind of tired, so I'm just rambling on. Um, so after, you know, there was that situation with the room, after that, um, they was asking for my passport. Now, guys, when you're doing Airbnb, the whole reason you're doing Airbnb is because it's a trusted website. Airbnb already has my information. And, you know, no Airbnbs ever asked me to use, you know, or to have my passport. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know they wanted it or something like that. I'm like, bro, no, <laughs> I'm not giving you that. You're not a hotel. You don't have the proper storage units to keep that type of information. This is an upscale hotel. This is an apartment. You know, I don't see any file cabinets. I don't see an office here. You know, someplace like that, you can feel a little bit more comfortable handing in your information. You know, but this place, it doesn't have all that. So it's like, bro, you know, and Airbnb doesn't require you to give your passport. This is why it's so important to know your rules, too. I can be a solo traveler doing all this moving around as I'm doing if I didn't have certain, you know, things, you know, if I didn't have certain things down packed, certain things, uh, certain information and knowledge. Again, y'all, it's late, so, and I'm trying to do it quick so I can get to my driver because I got to rush out of here. You know, it's, it sucks because, you know, rushing out, you know, you got to pack all your stuff like real quick. You guys see, I packed my bag. I just threw it, threw everything up inside and it's just a lot of work. So then, anyways, y'all, then today, my apartment, things is like, things has moved around a bit. My fans is off. I said, I called the lady. I said, hey, did somebody come up in here and, and move around in my place? Because I know how I left my place. And the person, she was like, uh, let me let me check, let me check. She gets back to me. Oh, yeah, we had the, the cleaner just come in to, uh, I said, she didn't even clean anything. Oh, let me call back. Oh, she just went into, uh, I'm like, nah, y'all was looking for my passport. Just want to show y'all the new place as soon as I get in. All right, y'all. So basically, I'm not leaving YouTube, but I will be posting my exclusive videos elsewhere. So basically, right, I'm not about to complain and say, oh, YouTube, they don't let me post what I want. Guys, this is their platform. This isn't our platform. And until we get our platform, we can't complain, right? We're on other people's platforms they even have their own rules it is what it is guys patreon and rumble that's where i will be at from now on i'll still be posting a lot of videos on youtube same normal setup that i've been same routine but now i have to take my content elsewhere especially the exclusive stuff y'all see the ladies man sometimes these ladies they get too freaky for me to put this on a youtube platform i'm not gonna lie you know they get in too freaky you know that so sometimes I got to take that content and put it elsewhere. Now, this isn't crazy content or nothing like that, but it is PG-13 content. You feel me? Like this is stuff that, you know, the ladies, they go in a little, they get a little freaky, a little wild. So, you know, and I wish I could have posted on YouTube and stuff, but I just can't sometimes because unfortunately, like, you know, and I hate censoring all this stuff. It's just too much work. If y'all want to see any deleted scenes from my YouTube channel, if y'all want to see anything, you know, where the ladies are, you know, giving advice to, you know, how they feel about passport roles and how they feel about, you know, uh, just men and dating. Guys, go to the Patreon. I have different tiers, a $3 tier just for uh, maintenance and channel support, $5 tier just so y'all can have exclusive content to all the videos. And I've set up my consultations once again. You guys can book a session with me. That's also on there on the Patreon as well. Rumble. Now, on Rumble, we'll just be having man to man, you know what I'm saying, man to woman, whoever's watching right now, type of videos, y'all. We gonna have that type of content, podcast, long form content, y'all. Things that like, you know, excuse all the noise in the back, y'all. Y'all know I just traveled to the country of Tanzania, so excuse all the noise, but I'm saying on, on uh, Rumble, we're going to have long form content, basically almost like a podcast, you know? Just, you know, y'all grab a glass, y'all grab some food. You know, we just gonna talk explicitly. You know, we just gonna talk, you know, we just gonna talk wild. We gonna get reckless on Rumble. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. 
Finally, there's a platform right now, at least for the moment, where we can speak our piece. And I'm about to use that to my greatest ability. Because to be honest with y'all, there's a lot of things that I want to talk about when it comes to dating, when it comes to traveling, when it comes to being a part of African diaspora, when it comes to um, being polygamous and having multiple women, multiple wives, you know, when it comes to working on multiple business plans, you know, guys, lifestyle, you know, just... There's so many different things I want to talk about, but unfortunately, I just can't say, I can't speak my my mind all the time over here. So y'all go ahead, link in the description, make sure you guys subscribe and make sure you guys join one of my tiers that I have on the Patreon. Also, all my social medias, we now got a Twitter, y'all. <laughs> we up, you know what I'm saying? We up. Travel Tribe Raw on all of my Twitter, on all of my social medias, at Travel Tribe Raw. That's my uh, username handle for every single social media, whether it's Twitter, Instagram, uh, Facebook page, um, TikTok. Y'all, I'm up on all these platforms. So if you wanna reach out, reach out to me, let's talk. You know, and uh, yeah, that's basically it, man. I'm not gonna chat off y'all ear. I just wanted to give y'all a quick update and uh, we out of here. Travel, travel, bro. Link in the description. We gone.